Hey, what's up, guys? Beastango6 here. I hope you're having a great 2021. Uh, I know this year is already starting off a little turbulent, and we've had a lot of stuff last year that we need to just shake off. But one thing that's not going to change are these videos. And I am proud to showcase this video. I'm going to be making a series of these. It's going to be basic seamanship. This is probably going to be, you know, video one of several. <clears throat> so. One of the things I remember getting into Silent Hunter, uh, I started off with Silent Hunter 1 and, and SSN and, and all the other great, you know, 688, 688i and all that. No one taught me any of these um, basic orientation or nothing like that. It wasn't until Great Lakes uh, Naval Base that I learned more about ships, but until then, uh, I kind of learned on my own. And so I want to make a couple of videos to help out the new guys that have never seen a boat or doesn't even know how to uh, orientate themselves on a boat. So let's get started. This is our boat. It's got the little curved front here. It's going to represent the, the front of the boat. And this back part is going to be the back of the boat. So imagine a top-down view. This line I put across the center, imagine dead center, from left to right. So if you're here on the conning tower or the bridge of your U-boat, you're looking forward this way. And we're going to put an imaginary line right here. So let's start off with what this boat is. All right. So the front of the boat is commonly known as the fore. All right. Now, I usually don't use this term except for if I'm talking about parts of the deck. Oh, you know, my, my deck gun is fore. You know, or, or my propeller is, I might say, aft. And that's what this is, aft. Okay. I, might, I have damage aft. You know, I've damaged four. All right. Now, since I play one player a lot, I don't play a lot of multiplayer games. I don't really use these terms, but it's something you should at least know what it is, right? So that's something you guys can uh, can learn today. Simple, fore and aft. Now let's go on to the more common term. Same line. Right at the tippy top. Well, everything here forward is going to be bow. Let's just be fair about it. Bow. B o w. Everything after that line, we just learned that word, is the stern. Okay? So if I say there's a ship to our bow, I'm talking to the front. If I'm saying, hey, there's a ship to our stern or aft, we're talking everything in the back. Real simple stuff, right? All right. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that line. Let's make a new one. All right. Let's go right down the middle. We're pretending it's in the middle. It's probably not straight. That's okay. So we know that this is the bow. We know that this is the aft. So let's talk about these weird words. All right. To the left of your boat, okay, also known as left, you will never use that in nautical terms. You're actually going to use the word port. That's your left. All right. Left is your port. And I'm going to put it in red letters because port is your red signals. Okay. If you see lights on ships, you see red. That's the port side. All right. The easiest way to remember the left side is port and left are spelled with the same amount of letters. Okay. Right. is also known as starboard. You could say starboard, but that's like a little newbie. All right. I'm using green because if you see green on a ship, you know that's the starboard side. Okay. Uh, there's a history behind this. Uh, if I remember correctly, something to do with ships were always... Um, they were always, always docked on their left-hand side, so it's called the port side. And then the right-hand side always faced out into the ocean where all the star stars were. So it was like the starboard, if you will. So if I say, hey, you got a ship to your port, we're talking left. And if you got a ship to your starboard, we're talking right. All right. I know this is very, very simple. And like I said, for the old salts that have played this game for a long time, this is probably nothing for you. So now we have an orientation. If I say we have a ship to the starboard bow... We're talking somewhere over here, in the upper, in the front, and to the right. All right? Same thing down here. 
port aft. Or port, I'm sorry, port stern would be more of a way to say that. I'm all kinds of messed up. So now you have an orientation. Hey, ship off the port stern. Starboard bow to the port. It's a general idea, uh, IDI, um, excuse me, a general idea of where you will have enemies or ships or planes pop up. So when you come up out of that ship and you're looking around on the conning tower, you have an idea of what's going on. All right, so now we're taking another look at our boat. This is kind of like a side view off the starboard side. <laughs> we're going to be learning more about that stuff. Uh, it's a terrible boat. I get it. It doesn't look like it's best, but... We're taking a look at the starboard side of the boat. It's floating in the water. We're going to take a look at a few other things here that needs to be addressed. So let's talk about the bottom and the top. We don't talk bottom and top. All right. So for those of you who don't know what that is, let's just go ahead and put that in there. Whoops. I am terrible at spelling today. I apologize. The top will always be known as the deck from this point on in your life. The bottom will be the keel. Okay, we you should know a little bit about this stuff because you have shot at these boats. You got you know torpedoes going underneath the keel. Uh, you'll understand what that is. Okay, so it's something you understand. Uh, just just like I said, little simple things here to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at when you're looking at these boats. Again, old salts will look at this like this is this is stupid. All right, so now that we have the basics of our ship, at least what you will use in the game. I mean, I can go into bulkheads, I can go into portals and all that stuff, but we're not going to go into all of that, okay? Um, let's talk about map orientation, right? It's basic seamanship. Now, again, this is for the brand new players, so I don't want to insult anybody's intelligence. So this circle is going to represent a compass, all right? I, I'm assuming that you all know north, okay, east south and west right but let's talk about something a little further than that let's talk about degrees on that map all right so if you've never ever played with a map before or a compass this is something you're going to learn really quickly so wherever north is you have one of two numbers you have zero degrees or it'll be 360 degrees now normally you won't use 360 it's usually zero but it's on there on some of your tools that you'll see on the map. Okay. East will always be 90 degrees. Okay. Let's make little lines here. Okay. South is 180. Okay. And then 270 is your westerly, right? All right. So with these degrees now known... Let's break them down into ones that we also need to know more of, okay? We're going to talk about the ones in between. I'm not going to break them down further than that. I mean, you can practice on your own. But let's talk about northeast, okay? 45 degrees. These are your most common directions. So if I say, hey, there's a ship 45 degrees, uh, bearing 45 degrees, you know where it's going to go. We'll talk about bearings actually here in a minute and what the difference is between the map and bearing. But let's do southeast. Okay. Let me get all of my guys in here. Let's do uh, southwest. Northwest. Northwest is 315. Okay. Okay, we got one thirty five. Terrible, I'm sorry. One thirty five for southeast, and then we have two twenty five degrees. Okay, so I know this looks like a big hot mess, but let's go over it one more time. I actually had to go orientate myself. It's been a long time since I've actually played the game. So north is zero, northeast is forty five degrees, east is ninety, southeast is one thirty five. South is 180, southwest is 225, west is 270, and northwest is 315. And then you go back to 360. Now, these are the general degrees that you should probably get yourself orientated with to know. So, when so you, you could get an idea when they show, hey, we got an escort at 220, you're not looking all the way over here, you're looking over here. You know, 225 is over here, it's close over here. It's a way that you can quickly know where everything is at any given moment. 
Okay, so now that we've talked about all of that, let's talk about the difference between the map compass and your bearing. Okay, the map compass is oh, never going to change. North is north, east, south, west. It's never going to change. All right, but we're going to do something different here. Okay, let's let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this and this. All right. What we're going to talk about here is bearing. All right. So let's let's put that up on the board here so that nobody is confused. Excuse me. Again, I'm having a terrible time with spelling. All right, bearing. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put our little U-boat back in. Okay. God, these are great little videos, aren't they? With these really ridiculous paint jobs here. All right. Let's go ahead and just kind of make this look better. Cool. All right, we're going to fill... That's our little U-boat. Very nice. All right. Here's our U-boat top-down view. All right. Bearing only is the orientation of your U-boat. All right. So the bow will always be zero degrees. The stern will always be, or aft will be, 180 degrees. Starboard, direct starboard is 90, and direct port is 270. Okay. So port bow, starboard, and then aft, or stern. Okay? Now, this will never change. Wherever my boat turns, all of this turns with it. So wherever the bow points will always be zero. That is your bearing. Okay? So when I say a ship is bearing 90 degrees, I don't care on the map. The ship is over here somewhere. Okay? That's all I need to know for bearing. And bearing is important so that you can get things like your angle on the bow and your TDC calculations uh, correct. Okay. Now, if you play Cold Waters or some of the other, like mostly like American um, submarines uh, games, like out there, like uh, what, like uh, Dangerous Waters and stuff like that, they will use the cardinal direction for bearing and what have you, which to me was I always found kind of weird. So, like, even if I'm going, you know, Northwest, they're going to use the cardinal direction. Hey, it's bearing zero or whatever, which means it would be up here, even though my ship's going this way. To me, that's always been confusing. I don't know why that's done. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's just a standard of different navies. But bearing, to me, is the easiest way to know where things are in orientation of your ship. Okay? All right. So now that we have an idea of what's going on here, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm starting and stopping my video to make one long video here. So let's go ahead and just do a final test so that everybody understands the difference, okay? All right. Okay. So my ship is turned, all right? So imagine we're looking down on a map, all right? My ship is turned, and it's heading. Let's put that down. Let's put on a new thing down here. If I can, <laughs> I still can't do it. <laughs> Heading. All right. So let's talk about what we've got here. Let's say we have ourselves a contact. Our guys have seen it. Here it is out here somewhere. All right. Good. All right. Our heading according to what I'm seeing right now, if this is north, all right, is 315. We'll just be very general about it, all right? We're not calculating anything here. Our heading is 315. We're going northwest perfectly. The bearing, if you remember from these tick marks, is now 90 degrees, okay? So I know I'm heading northwest, but the object is bearing 90 degrees from me, okay? Which could tell me that it's bearing at a northeasterly course because of my heading. So if you look at these numbers and you play with them long enough, you can literally figure out where it's at, even where it's in orientation of the map. So I don't even need to, like, I, I could I could figure, I could be down in the belly of my Silent Hunter 5 U-boat, and I can plot it on the map without even going up and looking at it. 
So this is the way you would read these things if you were to read them correctly. We're heading 315, bearing 90 degrees. I hope this helped you guys out with the orientation. My next video is going to be a little bit more intense. Um, I'm thinking about getting more into uh, draft and, and, and uh, mast and getting more into the TDC stuff. So uh, let me know what you think about the video. Please like and subscribe uh, and look for more.